Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Comedian Wanda Sykes stands with Monique after Monique called for everyone to boycott Netflix for gender bias and color bias. So if you don't know what happened, Monique actually went on Instagram and she went on Sway in the morning and she talked about Netflix offering her $500,000 to do a comedy special. Now, Monique was offended at that price point because she felt like she should be getting as much money as Amy Schumer. Even though Amy Schumer is more popular and she has a much bigger following than Monique, Monique still felt like she should be getting the same amount because Monique has a lot of accolades under her belt. She is an Oscar winner and she had her own late night talk show and a sitcom that was very successful. So she felt like she deserves much more money than $500,000. However, a lot of people felt like Monique was tripping. Mm -hmm. So when you say, what do I want? I want Netflix to come back and say, because we said she was a legend, we're going to give her a $20 million payday uh -huh. like we gave to Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. Mm -hmm. That's what I want Netflix to say. Hey, my loves. I am asking that you stand with me and boycott Netflix for gender bias and color bias. I was offered a five hundred thousand dollar bonus. However, Amy Schumer was offered eleven million dollars. Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle twenty million dollars. See. I couldn't accept that low offer because if I did, Heather B, I couldn't sleep at night mm. because I am the most, and I say this humbly. I am the most decorated comedian alive. <laughs> <laughs> Despite all the laughs and criticism, Monique was not tripping. Wanda Sykes went on Twitter and she supported Monique's comments and she said this, Monique, thank you for speaking out. Netflix offered me less than half of your 500000 I was offended but found another home. Epics. Now this right here really did shock me. The fact that Wanda Sykes, who's a great comic, she's very funny and she's also very popular, the fact that she was offered less than $250,000 is very offensive and it really opened up my eyes a little bit more. Netflix is trying it. They are trying it. And I have to say this, I wholeheartedly believe that Monique deserved more than $500,000. I believe that she should have been offered like $1 million to $3 million. That is a reasonable amount. That should have been the starting price and she could kind of negotiate from there, but I don't believe that she should have gotten the same amount as Amy Schumer, who got 11 million to 13 million, I believe. I think she probably negotiated up to like 15 million. I might be wrong about that. Or Dave Chappelle, who was getting 20 million. A lot of people disagreed with my comments in the last video, and this is what I said, and I still stand by what I said. Even though Monique is talented, even though she has all these accolades, she can't expect to get as much as someone like Amy Schumer or Dave Chappelle. And the reason why is because she's not culturally current at the moment. However, however, I feel like she missed this opportunity to partner up with Netflix because she could have really put herself out there again. And sometimes comedians, they have to reintroduce themselves to the public. Dave Chappelle, people were bringing up Dave Chappelle like, okay, Dave Chappelle was gone for so many years. Why is he getting offered all this money? For one, Dave Chappelle has one of the greatest comedy shows of all time, which is The Chappelle Show. Not only that, he was also selling out big venues before doing the Netflix special. Not only that, he reintroduced himself to the public when he hosted on SNL. So people have to take things like this into consideration. Dave Chappelle, he's a legend. He deserves what he got. Amy Schumer. Amy is not a legend at all, but she has a huge following. She is very current now. It makes more sense business-wise for Netflix to invest more money into her because they know they will get that money back and then some. So this is a whole business thing. This has nothing to do with equality, unfortunately. It has nothing to do with accomplishments, unfortunately. It all boils down to the big dollar. Who is able to bring in 
the cheddar, okay? The moolah, the coins, it's all about money here. And like I said before, Monique would do well with the Netflix special. I feel like she would because for one, she has no filter and she's funny. She has a lot to talk about and that could make a lot of headlines. But do I think that people will initially rush to watch her special? No. However, if she took this opportunity, she could have reintroduced herself to the public. Not only that, she could get more people interested in her comedy specials and then she could be in a position to demand more money. See, that's the way I was looking at it, but a lot of people were disagreeing with me, which is okay, which is all right, but I feel like Monique is too talented to kind of just waste it all like this. But I understand she has a cause that she's fighting, and I do believe that there is true gender bias and color bias, and black women in Hollywood struggle with this a lot, and somebody has to speak on their behalf, but anyway. Tell me what you all think down below. I know some people are gonna disagree. <laughs> um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share if you care. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.